Lisa Cole, the math lady. Today we're talking about fraction decimal percent equivalence. Meaning, if I have a fraction, how do I move that fraction to a decimal or to a percent? Or, if I have a decimal, how do I move it to a fraction or a percent? Or, if I have a percent, how do I move it to a fraction or a decimal? Don't worry, we're gonna get it all nice and clear for you. And you're gonna find out it's a lot easier than you think. Okay, let's start with the fraction, moving it to a decimal and to a percent. Okay, the first one, moving it to a decimal. Well, what do we know about a fraction? We know a fraction is really a division problem in disguise. So, what happens when we divide our fraction? Which means we do the divisor into the dividend. And we know our one is there, and I'm gonna go ahead and add that zero, because I think I'm gonna need it. What happens? Well, two can't go into one, but it can go into 10. And look at that, it gives me a decimal. So we divide to get to a decimal. Okay, there's that answer. Now what about percent? To go from one half to a percent, well think about it, a percent means something out of 100%. So we're gonna multiply our fraction times 100. Let's do it. One half times 100% is the same thing as saying 50%. And, or you could easily say, yeah, that's really it. <laughs> I was gonna say something else, but nothing else needs to be said. We're going to multiply by 100%. Okay, let's try it with another fraction. This time, let's use the fraction 2 fifths. So, to get from 2 fifths to a decimal, we divide. So let's do it. And that gives us 0 0.4, that's our decimal. And to get from a fraction to a percent, we multiply by 100%. So we have 2 fifths times 100%. And we can cross out, which gives us 40%. Okay, that's simple. Divide and multiply by 100%. Take a look this time. Here we have a decimal, and we want to move it to from a decimal to a fraction and from a decimal to a percent. Let's take a look at the fraction first. Well, we know if we look at the place value of this decimal, it tells us that it is 35 over 100. So we always just look at the place value and put it over the appropriate place value. Now we know 35 over 100 can be simplified, so let's do that. 7 twentieths will be your simplified fraction. So all we did is we looked at the place value of the last digit and that helped us write our fraction. Now what about decimal to percent? Well those are really easy because think about it. We know that percent is always something out of 100. So we go to the hundredths place and we look at it, it says 35. So all we're gonna do is move this decimal two spaces to the right, 35%. So here we go. Move decimal two to the right. All right, let's try it with another decimal. Take a look at this one. Here we have 1.04 as our decimal. We first wanna move it to a fraction. So we look at the place value of the last digit and we know that's gonna be four over 100. And we look at our one, we know our one still is a whole number so it goes right in front of the one. We have a mixed number. Now, do we, can our four over 100 be simplified? Sure it can. One over 25, so I didn't leave enough space but it's gonna be one over 1 25th is our simplified fraction. What about that as a percent? Well, move the decimal two to the right. Let's do it. One, two. That means that our percent is gonna be 104 percent, which makes sense because we already have a whole, which means, means it's more than part of the whole. Okay, let's try the last one. Here's the last one. So we're gonna take a percent, move to a fraction, and a percent, move to a decimal. 
But we know that a percent is really a piece of a whole, right? It's always out of 100. So to get our fraction, we're just going to put our 46 over 100, which can be simplified. 23 out of 50. Okay, so the rule there is, I can say divide by 100 or put it over 100. So denominator is 100. Okay, what about decimal? Well, we know to get a decimal, it's also out of 100. So if we move, there's a decimal here. I know you can't see it, but it's there. If we move it two spaces to the left, that'll give us 0 0.46. That would be our decimal. So the rule is move two spaces to the left. Okay, let's try it with a different percent. Here we go. 23%. We know as a fraction, we're just going to put that over 100, and it's going to be 23 over 100. And that cannot be simplified. What about as a decimal? Again, we move at decimal places 2 to the left. So it's going to end up boom, boom, right there. And that means our answer is 0 0.23. Okay, let's put this all together to see if we can easily do it without all of our little notes. You might often see charts like this in math where they give you one, they give you like the fraction, and you've got to convert it to a decimal or a percent. Or they give you a decimal, you've got to go to a fraction or percent, or they give you the percent, and you've got to go to fraction or decimal. Okay, let's do it. So my first one, I'm giving you a fraction of four-fifths. Well, to get to a decimal, we know we divide. So let's do our math over to the side. Add our little decimal, and we know that's going to be 0.8 for our decimal. Okay. And once we have our decimal, it's easy to move to a percent. We know we're going to move it two to the right, one, two, which will give us 80%. Nice. Now what happens if we start with 0.6 as a decimal? Well, we're going to move back to fraction by putting it over the correct place value. So we know that 0.6 is the same thing as saying 6 tenths. And now we look to see, can we simplify? And yes, we can. We can go to 3 fifths. What about going to the percent? Well, we know all we have to do is move our decimal two to the right. So this is going to be 60%. Okay, 57%. If we just move two to the right to go that way, we're going to move two to the left to come back to a decimal. So this is going to be 0 0.57. And for a fraction, we're always looking at the place value. What is this? It's 57 over 100. And then we look to see, can we simplify? And we cannot. And it's that simple. You're going to get a lot of problems that look probably like this. So get, get comfortable moving back and forth between fractions, decimals, and percents. That's it for me. It's Nicole the Math Lady. Hope you got that. Make sure you try the practice problems to make sure it's all good, buttoned up, ready to go. Okay, I will talk to you next time. Have a good one. Bye.